So we're now forecasting growth of 3% this year, and that's going to then go down slightly in 2015 to 2.7%. Uh, but that's still a pretty good growth rate. And what's really encouraging is that growth is becoming much more broad-based. And business investment in particular is really picking up quite strongly. So overall, it's quite an encouraging figure. Okay, so the economic outlook is looking strong, but are there any risks on the horizon? I think um, for business, uh, economic risks are now starting to recede. There are still some risks ahead, uh, but they're definitely uh, receding. But at the same time, political risks are increasing, and there is more uncertainty now in the UK. So we've got, um, we've got local and European elections coming up. We've got the uh, referendum on Scottish independence in September. And then, of course, we have the general election about a year from now. So... Um, political uncertainty is definitely on the risk register of companies. And talking of the general election, um, one year out from this now, what would, would be your sort of three main messages to the uh, political parties ahead of the general election? So we've set out our headlines and our red lines to the political parties ahead of the general election uh, next year. This is only um, our starting point. We're going to be doing a lot more work on, on manifestos and business priorities for manifestos over the next year. Uh, but what we're saying today is that we want um, all the political parties to stick with what works. So we've had some good progress in this parliament on issues like deficit reduction, for example. So let's stick with that. We're also telling them not to duck difficult decisions. Um, and a good example here would be aviation. We want all political parties to commit to implement the recommendations of the Davis Review when that's published next year. And then finally, we're saying make sure that their policies make the right kind of difference and warning them really not to put politics ahead of investment and opportunity and just be, be wary of unintended consequences on some of the policies and rhetoric on issues like immigration and markets.